Hey everybody, Wicked Low here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're hopping into another exciting episode of Game of Thrones. This is going to be Season 4, Episode 5. First of his name. Don't forget if you like this content to hit that subscribe button, comment down in the comment section below, smash that like button, and share with your friends and family. I appreciate every single one of you, and on that note, let's get into the episode, shall we? Stay tuned after the show for a look inside the episode. Previously on Game of Thrones. Make him shut up. I have to finally see hopefully what's going to happen with Bran and them. I'm hoping John takes care of that though. Like I really do. I hope John goes in and takes care of everything. Need a squire. He'll slow me down. He's not safe here. Goodbye, Bran. I think I think Bran can do it though. I just. From your sister. Liza says John Aaron was murdered by the Lannisters. If this news is true. Oh, Ned. Oh. Uh. We ought to get to know one another. But if my mother. It can be our secret. Tell me a secret. I still can't believe, though, that Granny did that. Maybe she didn't, and it's just like a, you know, uh, like a sleight of hand, but that, that scene definitely pushed it towards like she had something to do with it, or she was the one that did it. You know, it was definitely either her or. Little finger, which I did not see little finger. We haven't really seen little finger at all lately, so that's why it's kind of more so me thinking that it's it's her. Hopefully, they get more in depth. Though I'd like to know how it was done. That'd be so interesting. Red Ford. Winterfell. Love the intro. The Wall. How good this episode is going to be. And protect him in these perilous times. May the Smith grant him strength that he might bear this heavy burden. So, this is first of his name? Okay, so this is probably what the episode means. They crown in him the new king. In the light of the seven, I now proclaim Tommen of the House Baratheon first of his name. There you go. There you go. <laughs> like, I mean, I just, he's just so young to it. He's younger than Joffrey. Right. And obviously he was like, I'm guessing by a few years, I'm, I'm assuming. I mean, but Joffrey was young too, so I guess you can't really. You know, he's already smitten. <laughs> she, Marjorie does a good damn job at that seduction, man. <laughs> oh, shit, Cersei's like, no, you don't. No, you don't. That's never going to work, though. Cersei is just, uh, I don't, I, I think Marjorie's more of the manipulator. She's a damn good manipulator and seductress, but I don't think she can get as evil as Cersei. I could be wrong. I just don't, I don't think so. You still mourn for Joffrey? He was my husband, my king. He would have been your nightmare. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he would have. Would have been the nightmare. And what he did, it shocked me. Do you think I'm easily shocked? <laughs> no. The things he did shocked me. That is saying a lot. And that is the reason why I, that was one of my favorite episodes. He's only a boy. Makes me sound whole. A good boy. A decent boy. He I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all had that same, same inclination whenever that happens. He will need help. Well, you could tell in her like she was she had to take a deep breath for that conversation not enough you're still interested in being queen i take it see i don't i don't get that though like why is she gonna okay like you first 
thought you wanted her in there, then you didn't want her in there, and now you want her in there again. Cersei, that's not like you to keep switching up like that. Oh, mother. <laughs> it's just a weird, a weird triangle. Jerry Springer type of shit going on right there, though. Like, when you think about it, it is kind of bad. It's either other sister... What the hell? Would that be enough to take King's Landing? The Lannisters have more. They've been fighting Joffrey's for two years. Three ships? That's a lot of ships, bro. Houses will flock to our queen when she crosses the narrow sea. The old houses will flock to whichever side they think will win. As yeah. Who's declared himself his imperial majesty. Okay, so that didn't really help at all then. Like, yeah, she freed some of the people, but she didn't fix the problem. I mean, that should tell you enough right there, Daenerys. <laughs> A boy sits on the Iron Throne, a boy many believe to be a bastard with no right to it. Wait, are they still talking about Joffrey, though? Like, do they do they not know that? Well, I mean, I guess they wouldn't really know, right? That's interesting. Could they take it? Nope. Let me drop it out of my shit. What is that? I will rule. Wait, so you planning on staying and trying to, so, oh God. See, that's, that's what I'm worried about. That's what I'm worried about, y'all. I am worried that this is going to go to her head. Looks like it is. Looks like it will go to her head. Find that later. I'm not. That is not good. Uh, I really do feel that that's not going to be a good thing because of that simple fact. It, she's going to want to rule and she's going to get that in her mind that she's a ruler. And not a liberator, and that's gonna that's gonna mess everything up. Know your strengths, use them wisely. And one man can be worth ten thousand. Did Ari and them ever make it there, though? Stand to. Why would he lie? <laughs> Obviously, the girl's gonna know who she is, though, right? Ain't sure it ain't no Elena, that's Sansa Stark, boy. Uh oh, I was hoping not to really have to see this again. Please don't go for the tit. Uncle Peter! My lord. Pardon my French. My flesh and blood. Okay, so she does know. All right. You mustn't call me that in front of anyone else. Oh, of course, I understand. No one can know you're here. You put us in a very precarious position. Okay, well, all right. I understand now why he was lying. All right, that is true. Now they know what it feels like. Mommy said they'd killed your mother and they chopped off your brother's head. All right, dude, don't need to be bringing up this type of information. I wanted to make little Lannister baby man fly, <laughs> but... Wasn't his fault. And on top of everything else. Just threw away the damn present that he got. Sansa, this is my son, Robin. It's a pleasure to meet you, Robin. Robin, show Sansa. So they've, they've never met at all? Like, the whole time Sansa was born? They never... Whoa, now. Getting her here alive. She's here. We spent more than enough time in her for one what? evening. Bro, Baelish is like just a little gigolo or something, man. He's trying to get everything. And he did say he wants everything, but goddamn, I... The others can all hang, lurking and simping on the stairs like for those women. the moment my husband... Like, he has such an obsession for, for Catelyn that, that he wants the daughter and the, the sister. <laughs> what? She's the one who killed Jon? Oh, no. Bro. Wow. Wow. Dude, how, how long has fucking Littlefinger been planning this type of shit? Seems like this dude is just like the mastermind behind every damn thing. So he's the one that had her. So it wasn't even the Lannisters that killed him to begin with. So, wow. After me, I'm going to scream so loud. You'll hear me clear across. Or, or was it like, the, did Littlefinger kind of make them seem like they were the ones that was coming up with it? 
but in turn, he was the one that did it, or was was there the ones that told him to do it, and then he got her to do it? But still, bro, that's just a, that's that's like a mind fuck right there. Oh my god, I just I cannot believe that second. Then whom can we trust? Ourselves alone. You know, I guarantee you, you could trust them a lot more than they can trust y'all. Besting the Tyrells and the Crown will help a great deal in this respect. It's for the good of the family, I understand. Well, basically, that. he's just in debt tremendously, and he's trying to pay back the money. And at, at this point, y'all should have did better with your gold. But of course, we all know that that's not really their gold. They stole that land from another family. Per the, uh, um, whatchamacallit. What does Tyrion deserve for lighting that future on fire? He didn't, though. He didn't at all, but yet you... Free. Cersei. It needs to be proven that he did. The Red Woman. Beric Dondarrion. Got a lot of damn names. I can't sleep until I say the names. The names of every fucking person. I like how they did that, though. They went back to whenever she was taught to do this to help her sleep at night. And tell him to shut the fuck up so I can get some sleep. <laughs> Where do you get the lemons? You can't grow them up here. Oh, God, no. Peter had three crates brought all the way from King's Landing. And your mother loved him anyway. And now, Peter is risking his life to save you. Okay, I knew it. I was, I was afraid of this. This woman is psycho. What if you let Peter do with your? I might say no. I... Your young, pretty body. Nothing. I'm a virgin. Don't lie to me. Oh God. Okay. Yeah. See, bro, Sansa just can't get a win. Bro, she just cannot get a win. It's all right. Oh my. It will all. Ah, uh, see, see, no. We wouldn't be doing this. That dwarf for murdering the king and you'll be free to marry Robin. Lady of the Vale. Hmm? Now they want her to marry her, her nephew? What? Or cousin? Cousin? Yeah, it would be her cousin. What? No. No. That is disgusting. Bruh. Sansa, you gots to get out of there. Pod, you having a little trouble? Pod, you need a... It's a horse, my dude. Perhaps you should have stayed with him. Fuck it. Pod looks so <laughs> so funny. Never, my lady. I'm your squire. I've made it this far in the world without a squire. I don't see why I need one now. Oh, come on, Brienne. Don't be such an ass to him. He's a good guy, bruh. Pod is a good dude. Pod's a good dude. I like Pod. Obviously, so does the women. He's like, where'd you go? <laughs> Back to her training. Practicing. What ways to die? No one's gonna kill me. You will if you dance around like that. <laughs> you will if you dance around like that. You dead? Yes. How? Oh. He was killed. Who by? Marin Trant. That's why some Marin's on Marin Trant. <laughs> He's like Marin Trant. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you told her to do it, bruh. I mean, he, did, he didn't have to hit her like that. Like, okay, you told her to do it. Y'all were having a nice little conversation. It was funny. And it was, uh, I didn't like the way that. My mother misses her very much. Definitely tell she, lo she loves her kids. She is sadistic and she has mold. What is up with that boat? Um, you're overcooking that red rabbit there, Pod. <laughs> I think maybe you were supposed to like skin it before cooking it. No, my lady. Have you ever cooked a rabbit before? No, my lady. <laughs> Cook anything for Lord Tyrion. No, my lady. That was the cooks. That was the cooks. Helping you with your armor. I've been removing my own armor for quite some time. Thank you very much. I mean, that's kind of what he does, though. 
Well, I guess he really didn't do that with Tyrion either, though. I killed a man. Oh, well, yeah, that's true, he did. He tried to kill Lord Tyrion at the Blackwater. That he did. He protected Tyrion. I'm gonna really, really hate it whenever Pod dies. Because you know all the good ones end up fucking dying sooner or later. Get up! Get up! Ah, damn, dude. Chill the fuck out. I don't know what the hell's worse. Craster having them damn women or fucking... Or these cats. Probably these cats, for sure. Oh, no. He's gonna find them, though. No! He's not the one that needs to find them. You need water. It doesn't matter. Looks like he needs a lot more than just water. He looking sick. He's waiting for you. We have to find it. Who's waiting for? That was. There were some hounds chained up inside. The closer we can get without the dog sniffing us, the better. Oh, this mother. Get some rest. He's gonna keep him away from the shit from the place that Brian and them. Stop. Stop! What are you doing? Oh, you gotta be you gotta be fucking kidding me. Y'all ain't got enough women to mess with. No dresses for you. You like it rough, don't you? You are a sick, sick man. Have you seen what I'm going to do to your sister? You see what they're going to do to your sister. He's trying to sneak off. I'll take you to him. No, he won't. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Come on, old door. Get him, Hodor! Oh, yeah! Oh, no! Ooh, the bone was sticking out! Oh. I mean, yeah, he wouldn't, he probably wouldn't let you go. But, I mean, come on. Uh, really not gonna say anything? No. We need to free Summer. And we need to go. That dog probably ain't even alive anymore. How long has he been inside that damn trap? Oh, okay, here we go. Come on, John, you got this. Don't let this boy out, out smack you on some swords play. Come on, you got this. The best swordsman in the... Uh... You learn how to fight in the castle. Oh, that's not good. Oh, go ahead, girl. You should have probably got a bigger knife. Oh, something like that. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, that's probably gonna make him feel bad because he was so say a recruit. Serves him right for dying though. He was there for a bad reason. Oh, this dude's getting away. Come on, man. This guy deserves it as much as everybody else does in that group. Ghost is not in his cage anymore. Oh, are you about to get some reckoning? Oh, you are. <laughs> you go ghost? Hell yeah. Come here. 
Oh, ghost. Mance Raider has an army heading this way, and there's worse out there than Mance. At least we got one reunion, right? We couldn't we couldn't get the brothers back together, but we got the dog and John back together. Found. The old are dead with it. I like her way of thinking. Start fresh. Anybody got s'mores? That's the end of, of Craster's Keep then. Oh, and the end of the episode. All right. Okie dokie. Ooh, let's talk about it, shall we? Um, Great episode. Great ending. The last few episodes in this season have been fabulous. Still can't top episode two. That's probably my, my peak on the, <laughs> the Game of Thrones so far. It's been, it's been a ride. Um, But so far, this episode was was great, too. Uh, it seemed like a lot of a lot of things w was was coming coming back around, you know, finally closing up. Uh, John and them finally got rid of Craster's Keep and, and the, the um, pros that were revolting. Um, we didn't get the brawn, the, well, the brawn, listen to me, brawn, the brand, the Brandon and John reunion like I wanted, anyways. I'm pretty sure everybody else wanted it too, but we at least got Ghost back with John, so that's 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 all right, you know. It, it, we, we take what we could take, right? Um, the nearest thing i'm worried i'm worried i'm worried like she's talking about ruling and becoming a uh you know like ruling over places she's gonna be a queen i i don't i don't like the where that that's going like she's turning she's not gonna be a liberator anymore she's gonna be a ruler and that's that's when things are gonna get bad in my opinion um time will tell i'm sure things will play out so we'll see as it goes but that's just my my personal opinion on what's happening so far with that uh the whole new wedding the new king that tom tomlin i still don't quite i'm gonna get his name right sooner or later they, they say it enough i'll get it. it's it's tomlin or tomlin or something i think it's tomlin i want to say or some shit some shit like that he seems like he's gonna be a good king um i am really interested to see how he goes about it he is still quite young so anything can happen and the fact that he is young he's very manipulable uh which you know margie uh or that her, the chick is gonna have like her hands so far in that so it could be good it could be bad i don't know we'll have to wait and see um we got to see aria and the hound this this one on, on this episode which was nice uh they're still on their way they're taking their sweet ass time it's funny how sansa them already made it to the, the veil but Hound and them are still trekking along, but um, we we got to see we got to see Arya doing a little bit more of sword practicing. You know, the, the the little banter between them two is is nice. He still didn't need a slapper though for that. Um, but that's here nor there. Uh, the the uh, Brienne and Pod situation starting to love it. At first, it was like uh, Brienne was kind of like you know keeping him back. Not really wanting him around, but it seems like maybe she's starting to kind of fall in line to the fact of having a uh, having Pod around. So that's going to be interesting. I, I love Pod. Uh, I hope hopefully she can protect him um, and see where that goes. Like I'm guessing they're out to try to find Sansa. So but that's going to be all the way in the veil. So no telling. Uh, they they got a long trek too. Um. Jamie learning more about it. it seemed like Jamie was getting a little bit better on his sword play too, which was nice. Uh, that though, I he needs to start using that that fucking metal hand more. Like, am I the only one that's seeing that? Like, you, you need to, instead of having that thing constantly tucked in, you need to start having that thing flailing around, blocking shots, smacking people upside the head, play dirty. Like, hell yeah! Like, I would I would definitely be doing shit like that. Uh, what else? Uh. I mean, that's pretty much about it. Besides the whole, I mean, they had what Cersei, I mean, listen to me. Uh, yeah. Cersei and her dad talking about the marriage, Cersei and, and Marge talking about the marriage. I think she has something planned though, because I think it's weird how you, you want her in the family, then you don't want her in the family. Now you want her in the family again. So it's like, uh, that's, that seems kind of fishy. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah, the fact that we finally found out that old girl was the one that killed John Aaron, like his own wife, put the poison in his drink. So it wasn't 
It wasn't even full on like the Lannisters doing it. It was her that did it. But I'm, I'm still wondering if the Lannisters got Littlefinger to do it, which in turn got Littlefinger to get her to do it. She is one crazy bitch. The whole thing with her and, and Sansa, super weird. I don't trust that lady. Sansa is not even safe there, it seems, and her own family. Uh, at her own family's house. So, I don't know. Time will tell. Uh, can't wait to see the next episode. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed this reaction. I enjoyed this episode, and we will catch everybody on the next one. On that note, hopefully, everybody has a great morning, a great evening, and a great night. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.